So last week for my Time Lapse Tuesday, I started the Doodle series of Reckless Journal. So if you need to see the first one, then I'm going to put it up in the right hand corner so you guys can click on that and go watch this, that before you watch this one. So I'm going to keep going on with the, the next few pages for today. What my plan is for this Reckless Journal, instead of completely destroying this journal, I'm going to interpret the instructions in a doodle nicer way. <laughs> so I don't really want to destroy my first journal, kind of like I destroyed my first one. I legit, it's, it's ruined. <laughs> it's gone actually. <laughs> so for the first page, it said do some pencil rubbings, which I, I pretty sure it means just do some pencil doodles and just, I got a really thick lead it's a 10b lead so it's a softer lead and that way it's easier to smudge around and blend more and i was using a shading stick for that so i have a 10b pencil right here and i'm just trying to do this little doodle bing bong because i have a pup little funko uh figurine of him so he was staring at me he was practically asking me to draw him so i said okay bing bong i'm gonna draw you in today's breakfast journal doodle edition For this page, it said to scribble. So, I mean, I'm all about scribbling. I love scribbling. So I just wanted to go as crazy as possible with the scribbles because I never get a chance to just scribble. Let my mind go and just scribble the heck out of a page. I never really get a chance to do that. But yeah, so for this one, I don't know. I didn't really want to, uh, on the back of this page, it said to staple it or glue it together. And I was just like, no, I don't really want to. I don't really want, like I said at the beginning, I don't want to destroy this journal. So I skipped that page. But for this one, it said tear this one and rip it apart. So I drew this sloth monster. <laughs> He's an adorable green sloth monster. And I drew him ripping through the page because I thought that was a better alternative to gluing my pages together and destroying my doodle journal because I don't want to ruin it. For this page, it said to do a drawing while walking or riding in a car or on a train. Well, I'm actually really good at drawing in the car. Um, sometimes I get a little sketchy, but yeah, instead I just drew myself drawing on a train. Like the book told me, I'm sitting on a train and I'm drawing on a train. <laughs> I did mention this in my last video that using markers in my breakfast journal is the best medium to use. I did use a little bit of colored pencils. I might jump back to that, but it just pops a little bit more with the colored pencils as opposed to any other medium. I mean, paint works, but colored pencils were a little dull, but if you are going to do a doodle breakfast journal or just get a breakfast journal and you want to use some bright colors in there and everything, then you're going to want to do it with some doodle markers. Um, Yes, it's just so much better and I put I put a big piece of paper behind each page because it does bleed through so I just give you a little bit of warning about that. So this page was kind of funny because it said draw circles everywhere and I feel like I was on Pinterest and I saw this breakfast this journal that was very similar to this where it had big circles and then little circles. And I realized I started copying this other person's idea and I did not want that. And that's why I started to trail off into different types of circles and then I eventually turned into bubbles and then it just turned into plain markers, circles filling up the rest of the page. But I wanted to fill up the page with circles still following instructions but it got to another point where the little circles and the big circles started reminding me of reptilian skin and i i don't 
like it remind me of alligators i don't like alligators and i don't like crocodiles i don't like them they're phobias of mine so it started remind me of the skin of one i was like Ugh. no 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 stop it stop it stop it so after i realized i was copying this other person and they started looking like reptilian skin i was like mm -mm, no we're done here <laughs> so that's why i did the bubbles and then i just went ahead and just kept filling it up with all kinds of circles just to get like a sea foam thing going on so they all just ended up looking like bubbles this journal why did i ruin my last breakfast journal because i actually did document the food in my journal no don't don't do that i drew my <laughs> my di dinner which was green beans and chicken so don't I repeat, do not put food in your breakfast journal. Skip those pages or interpret it in a different way because <laughs> the food will ferment in the journal the longer you leave it in there unless you protect it somehow. Oh my gosh, I was an idiot when I did the first time because I put food in my journal and it fermented and it ruined my journal. So hey, draw your dinner or do it some other way. Don't actually put your food in your journal. <laughs> Once again, I... <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that in there because, uh, you know, sometimes saliva gets stuck to the roof of your mouth and you're trying to clear your throat because your voice sounds weird. That's what just happened. <laughs> For this page, it says chew on the page, but don't swallow the page. Uh, well, I don't want to eat the page and I don't want to ruin it, so I decided to draw a piece of gum because technically you are not supposed to swallow gum at all because it just collects in your body and then your body starts to deteriorate and your the gum's not exactly deteriorating and it takes like seven years for it to deteriorate so don't swallow gum so that's why i drew the marvelous double bubble now for this page i interpreted it a different way don't want to rip it out and use it as a funnel to drink water so i turned the funnel the faucet on the page into a funnel not a funnel for the guy but you know it was just going down into his mouth and he's just catching it good old water or blue gatorade who knows what it is or blue kool-aid i would prefer blue kool-aid though so let's go say it's blue kool-aid sure <laughs> and for the last page I, did, I wanted to do this fun technique where I saw on Pinterest uh, somebody crumbles up a piece of paper and then you trace around the crumbles but it turned out that my marker was bleeding through and like not making as good as fine lines as I wanted so I actually ripped it up and then I killed my little man on the way. The man drinking the blue Kool-Aid so that ruined it. That's why I'm not ripping out any more pages.